Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Fantastic Pins where we talk about Disney pins and Disney things. Today we are talking Disney pins because it's Monday, so it is another Pin Mail Monday. Alright friends, if you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Today we're talking WDI pins, which stands for Walt Disney Imagineering. These pins released at the Mickeys of Glendale online store for cast members. This here released with a princess box set that hopefully I'll be able to show you in a later video. This is not the full set of the guitar themed pins. There was one more pin that released with this set and it was a stitch one. My cast member friend kept that for his own collection. So no worries, we're not gonna get a close up of the stitch one today, but we do have these other four that we're gonna take a closer look at. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Let's start here on the left with my favorite Miguel from Pixar's Coco and I feel like we've seen this Miguel art before but here it is in a larger size here's a Mickey back and there's the pin so you can just imagine how large this pin actually is I do collect Coco I do collect I love Pixar, but this one will probably join my trader book because it's too large and I think it'll just look out of place uh, with the rest of the Coco collection, but this is super cute. All these pins are gonna be two pin posts. As you can see here, we've got one, two pin posts, no pin on pin elements, but as we see with most Mickeys of Glendale pins or Walt Disney Imagineering pins, we do have the Sorcerer Mickey hat waffling along the pin there. I'm trying to get a good angle with the light. And then in the middle of the pin or in some section of the pin, you're gonna see the Walt Disney Imagineering exclusive. You're gonna see the edition size, which these pins are limited edition of 250. I don't know how close I can get, maybe right there. And then sometimes, well, most of the times you should have the FAC number on the pin as well, unless it's maybe like a smaller pin. But this is gold plated and all the pins are gonna be gold plated, same edition size and two pin posts. So that's gonna be the only back of pin that you see there. But there you have it, we have Miguel here. Next up, another one of my favorites, actually my and Jacob's favorite. We love Tangled, we love Rapunzel, we love Pascal, he's one of our favorite sidekicks. And here we've got some cool art. I don't think I've seen Hansi and Pascal in a pin with this art before. I think one of the things I'm noticing with some of these cast member releases is repetitive art or recycled art, which I get it. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, but really looking for a little more innovation considering <laughs> Walt Disney Imagineering is all about innovation. It was nice to see a different kind of style of Punzi with this little guitar. Her face, I thought it was screen printed, but it's actually, it's like screen printed and all the enamel stuff. So her lips do look a little fuller than normal, but still a very cute Pin. So that's pin number two today. This next pin is one of Jacob's favorite characters. And this is of Olaf holding his little guitar. I feel like a lot of the Olaf pin art is the same. It is what it is, but here you go. We've got Olaf. And I do kind of like the detail up here with the twigs, like his hair, very nice as well. And that is pin number three. Okay, as I was saying that Olaf was Jacob's favorite, I realized there's a sixth pin in this set that I completely forgot to mention earlier. And here it is, you guys. We also have Kermit the Frog. And I remembered because Kermit is also Jacob's favorite, this is actually the only pin in the set that we're keeping for our own collections just because it's such a classic Kermit pose. And here I am bashing on like reused art. This is definitely art that's been used before. But because Jacob loves the Muppets and is a fan of Kermit, we are keeping this for his small Muppets collection. So there you have Kermit the Frog, and he is also to a pin post. So I'm gonna go ahead and add him to our little stack here. Last but not least, we have the wonderful Naveen from Princess and the Frog. And this one's actually really cool because I don't think we see enough pins of Naveen on his own. And so this one is of him dancing and playing the guitar when he first arrives to New Orleans, at least that's the scene I'm remembering right now. 
I really contemplated keeping this for my Princess and the Frog collection, but just decided against it just to see if anyone wanted him for a trade. So that is today's very, very quick pin mail Monday. I hope you guys like these close up videos. I just like taking certain sets because I, I do have a friend who's very nice and lets me see all the pins that are coming out. So I thought it would be good to give you guys a closer look at some of these newer pins. I don't get all of them all the time, but when I do have a chance to even show them before I put them up for trade, happy to do that. Let me know in a comment down below which of the pins from today was your favorite. Here is a closer look at them. Unfortunately, the stitch is not included. So if he's your favorite, cool. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. Hit the bell icon so you'll know next time a video posts on the channel. And as always, I hope to see you at the next one. Until then, have a fantastic day. Yay.